In this question, we're going to have a look at a pretty difficult question on optimization that uses differentiation. So it's given you a cuboid. For this, you do need to know that the volume of a cuboid is the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. It's told you those three sort of values in terms of x and y. It's also told you the total surface area is 600 centimeters squared. You can use that to form an equation, which I'm sure will be useful later on. Actually, let's use that right now because it definitely will be useful. So the total surface area is the area of all six faces of the cuboid. Let's do the front first. So the front is a rectangle. Its area is given by length multiplied by the height of the rectangle, which is y times 2x. So that's 2xy. And that's also the same as the back of the cuboid. So we can take into account the back as well by adding 2xy to itself to get 4xy. Moving on to the top and bottom, which are also the same, let's first focus on finding the area of the top face. So this length here is y, this length is x, meaning the top and bottom are both xy for the area, because x times y gives you the area of that rectangle. So for both top and bottom, we say it's 2xy. And now let's do the right-hand side and left-hand side. I'm just going to write this as rhs and lhs for right-hand side and left-hand side. Now the right-hand side and the left-hand side, again, they're the same area. So let's find the area of one of the faces. You do 2x times x, the area of this rectangle, and that will get you 2x squared. Multiply that by 2 for the left-hand side too, and that will get you to 4x squared. So the total surface area now, which is the sum of all of these, so 2xy plus 4xy, they're like terms, they add to give 6xy. And we can say that 4x squared plus 6xy is equal to that area of 600. Now, it asks us to find the volume and to show that the volume is given by this equation here. So the volume we know, like I mentioned before, it's length times width times height. So it's y times x times 2x. 2x times x is x squared, 2x squared, sorry, times y is 2x squared y. If we look at the final answer for the volume, we realize there's no y in any of the variables. That means you have to replace y somehow. In this equation that we formed, we can make y the subject and then substitute that into this equation, which then replaces the y. So let's do that. 6xy is equal to 600 minus 4x squared. And then you divide both sides by 6x to get that y is equal to 600 minus 4x squared all over 6x. Once you've got that equation of y, you can now put into this equation here. And we get that the volume is 2x squared multiplied by everything that we found y was equal to. So 600 minus 4x squared. I'm going to put this in a bracket because you're essentially multiplying 2x squared to all of this, all divided by 6x. Now this x cancels out with one of these powers of x. 2 cancels out with 6 to create 3 on the bottom here. And then we're left with x multiplied by all of this. So let's write this out. x multiplied by 600 minus 4x squared, all divided by 3. Um, let's expand out the brackets. So the volume is 600x minus 4x cubed all over 3. Um, and yeah, we can separate this into two individual fractions. So that's 600x over 3 minus 4x cubed over 3. Oh, yeah, let's write that out like this. And lastly, 600 over 3 is just 200. So this just becomes 200x. And that's what gets you to this equation here. 200x minus 4x cubed over 3. Sorry, this power is a bit strange. Hopefully that all made sense. Um, so it was just creating an equation for the area, making y the subject of that area equation, and then inputting that into the volume equation, because we realized that the whole of the volume equation is in terms of x. I'm just going to rub this out so we have space for the next few parts of the question. And yeah, let's move on to part b now. Part b is asking us to use calculus to find the maximum value of v. Now, what do we know about a maximum point? We know that the differential, the first differential that is, which is when you differentiate v with respect to x, it's equal to zero. Let's first put this, actually, this is already in a format where you can differentiate it. This is supposed to, it's supposed to be a three, by the way, in case you can't see that. So you want to differentiate the expression v with respect to x. The differential of 200x is just 200. Um, four third times three is four. So that's minus 4x, and then you subtract 1 from the power, so minus 4x squared. We make that equal to 0, and we solve for x. 
So add 4x to both sides, so 4x squared is equal to 200. Divide both sides by 4, so x squared is equal to 50. And square root both sides, so x is equal to root 50. Now, we wouldn't take the negative root because it doesn't make, if we took the negative root, it doesn't make sense as that would mean the length or the width, sorry, is negative. You can't have a negative width. Now that we found the minimum value, sorry, the maximum value of x that creates the maximum value of y, we now put that into the equation of v, and that gives you the maximum value of v. So you do 200 multiplied by that value of x that we found, root 50, minus 4 over 3 multiplied by root 50 all cubed, and that'll get you a value of 943. And because it's a volume, it's measured in centimeters cubed. On to part C, it's asking you to justify whether this is a maximum. At maximum, not only is the differential equal to zero, which we know is true, but the second differential, d squared v over dx squared, should be negative. So let's first find d squared v over dx squared by differentiating this function here. Now 200 differentiates to zero, minus 4x squared, or well minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, x all to the power of minus 3. And when you put the value of x that creates that maximum value, which we find is root 50, into this expression, that's minus 8 multiplied by root 50 all to the power of minus 3. We get that it's negative. Since it's negative, that proves that it's a maximum. Hopefully that all makes sense. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a nice rest of your day.